The most commonly used tools for image editing are either in the Exposure Tool tab or in the Color Tool tab. First of all for this image I'd like to warm it up a little bit. So in the White Balance tool I just increase my Kelvin like so. Next I'll go back to the Exposure Tool tab as I want to make some changes to Exposure. So to brighten the image a little I'll raise the Exposure a small amount. Also to add some more contrast and to brighten the midtones with the brightness slider and finally add a bit more saturation. Now this image has some bright and dark areas that need recovery. So first of all to get some details back in the highlights I'll raise the highlight slider somewhat. And if I zoom into 100% I want to get some more details back into his wetsuit so I'll bring up the shadow slider a little too. Going back to fit screen I want to bump up the midtone contrast a little. So raising the clarity slider does a nice job of that. Zooming into 100% again, I want to get a bit more detail and structure out of the ice shapes and crystals. I'll raise the structure slider until it looks good. To finish the image, I'll add a small amount of vignetting just to bring some focus to the subject. So dragging the slider slightly in this direction will do that nicely. For this image I want to adjust some of the colors. Let's go to the color editor. It's here within the color tool tab. In the basic tab of the tool I have six color ranges to choose from. I want to increase the saturation of uh, the reds and oranges. So first of all I'll just boost up the saturation here like so. Then choose the oranges and do a similar adjustment. And finally the teal type colors could do with an edit as well. So once more I'll increase the saturation like so. For these portrait images I want to make a nice black and white conversion. So I'll first enable the black and white tool. And to control the densities of each of the color channels I'll just reduce the reds and the yellows like so. I'll crop the image a little too, so I choose the crop cursor tool here. Click, drag to crop. And once you're happy with your crop, you don't need to apply it, just simply switch to another cursor tool. So I'll take the pan tool, and the image is shown in its crop state. I'll also just adjust the contrast and brightness a little, so I'll darken it slightly, and then add a bit more contrast and also some brightness just to lift the mid-tones and some shadow recovery just to get some more detail back in his shirt. Now I want these settings synchronized across all three portraits. The fastest way is to use the global copy icon up here. So now the adjustments are copied to the clipboard. To apply them to the other images, I'll just shift select them and click on the apply icon. Per default, copying adjustments will not include composition changes, but let's assume I wanted the crop to be copied as well. For this, I'm going to use the copy function for individual tools. There's a couple of steps here, but follow along as it's highly useful. If I select the image with the crop and go to the crop tool within the lens tool tab, there's a small double sided arrow. Let's click that and choose copy. Now the crop is copied to the clipboard. Let's select the other two images like we did before and click apply. And the crop is now on both of those images. There's also a really handy shortcut for copying individual tools in one action. Let's reset the crop on these two images. I can do so with the reset icon in the crop tool here. First I'll select all three images, just shift select to get three up. Uh, the image with the crop is highlighted as you can see. If I hold down shift on my keyboard and click the double sided arrow once more, then instantly the crop is applied to the other images. 
This approach can be used on any tool. So let's add a bit more contrast on the first one and synchronize the setting with the other two as before. So shift click and it's now copied across. When adjusting, exporting or deleting multiple images at a time, you need to make sure that the feature edit all selected variants is enabled.